Today, I am wrapping up my incredible journey in Antigua and Barbuda and I couldn't think of a more delightful farewell than embarking on a flavorful food tour. I'm gonna be eating some of Antigua and Barbuda's iconic dishes, even the unofficial national dish, and we're gonna round it off with a party. It's gonna be a vibe. Stay tuned. Right guys, we are in the island of Antigua and today is going to be one of my favorite days. We are doing a food tour with someone from Eat and Lime. She is the go-to individual when it comes to food in Antigua. I am here with the lovely Tiffany. Hello. Hello, Tiffany. Hi. Tell us a bit about yourself, ma'am. Just very quickly. So, I am Tiffany Azil, and I'm the owner for Eat and Lime Food Tours. Mm -hmm. We've been in operation since 2019, mm -hmm. and we are here as the only food tour company here in Antigua. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. Fantastic. So, today, we, well, right now, we're at Captain's Table, and he's going to have a chance to have some seafood rice. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> some seafood rice, mm. saltfish cake, Jeez. and swai. Come on, come on. So yes. tell us a bit about this restaurant then. So this restaurant, it has been in operation for about 10 years. Yeah. It's a family-owned business, yeah. mostly known for its seafood mm -hmm. dishes. Yeah. And guess what? Wow. It is a well-known spot among the locals. Are you sure, Tiffany? Yes. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. He's going to enjoy that food come today. On, come on, come on. <laughs> All right. Let's go. You'll have conks, but you know the right word is conch. Um, mussels, yes, sir? Yes. And shrimp. shrimp. And what else? Crab. And crab. Yeah. So it's jam packed with uh, lots of seafood. You also have saltfish cake and a green salad. Yeah, and the swai. Fried swai. Fried swai. What swai? Right? That's, yeah. the, that's the fried the fish you have in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, type of fish. So. Tiffany, very quickly, what is conch? Conch, conch it's like a sea snail. Sea snail, yeah. yeah it comes in a big shell, yeah. and you'll have to take it out, pound it up, yeah. and cook it however you like. Lovely, thank you very much. We're about to have seafood rice, come on. Our first meal of the day, um, before we hit the rum. My cameraman is saying that it's tasty. I've, I've annoyed him by stopping him in the uh, mid-flow. So here we go. And it's got, you can see this is like fried rice with a lot of veg in there. Come on. I'm looking for the little bits of prawns, a bit of seafood in there. Come on, straight in there. Let's not mess around. Ooh, it's got a bit of spice to it. It's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a kick to it. Lots of textures. You get a little bit of a crunch, the crunch from the vegetables. Mm. Let's try it with this. And I believe this is just a fresh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Fry yeah. fish. Oh my God. Oh man. Take that, Captain Birds. <laughs> Captain Burns is in big trouble. And Young's fish. <laughs> this is absolutely delicious. Look at this. If you look at it, it's like there's a coating. It's been well seasoned, but look at the inside of it as well. Look how meaty that is. Whoa, man. Uh. What are you saying, cameraman? You feeling that? Yeah, I'm feeling it, man. Let's try the punch. So this is the, I think, believe the punch, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've pounded it down with the snails, so on and so forth. This is what I came for, ladies and gents. This is what I came for. Food, still pans playing in the background, and then we're gonna wash it down with a bit of rum. That we use. And this one was designed to be your standard rum for mixing like your rum and cokes or if you're doing cocktails, especially as a base for tiki and tropical cocktails that has a lot of layers. So get, get your warm up, and then you let it sit on your tongue for about five seconds before you swallow it. That way it'll open. We've got some serious alcoholics in here, man. <laughs> I, I don't think they've got five seconds. They're just going to back it with one go. So, I'm not sure. Listen, I'm watching you. <laughs> the thing about our rum is that makes Antigua rum unique is that we're one of only two distilleries in the, in the, in the English-speaking Caribbean. You can, yeah, just pour and pass it along. Right? We're one of only two countries in the English-speaking Caribbean that still uses a continuous column copper still. Everyone has moved away from those type of stills and they're using something that's more industrial, that's made from stainless steel. 
But what this does, because we're copper, copper has a lot of cleaning properties. So it makes our rums light to medium in body with a really clean finish. English Cabernet mm -hmm. came out of a necessity where we wanted to export Cavalier outside of the region because of the amount of requests that we were getting, but then realized that we couldn't because someone came to the island, went back to the States and trademarked everything Cavalier. So they trademarked Cavalier rum, Cavalier gin, Cavalier vodka, even a Cavalier tequila, a Cavalier rum, right? And, and so we were, we were then forced to come up with a different name in order to export our <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Idol is, is mainly natural food. Yeah. The food from the earth, all it's vegan. Yeah. It's natural, it's vegan, it's mm. healthy, mm. and it's food cooked mostly with the coconut milk base. I see. That. Yeah. I see. I see. Which in the Rastas originate that style. Yeah. 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 Everything natural, so they say instead of natural, they say ital. 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 Okay. Okay. You know, Selassie I? Yes. So everything the Rastas usually say in the beginning is usually I. I so instead of saying natural food, they say ital food. Ital food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why, why did you start this? Why did you feel like it was important? to showcase this to not only us as tourists but mm. to the general public and the locals? Well, it's at home. It, it, this is me. Mm. And I'm just selling me to the world. Yeah. And I think it's the right way to go in this time. Yeah. Natural, healthy way. Yeah. I want everybody to know that there is an alternative to meat. Yeah. And it's in the vegan, natural, ital style. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's so right. talk to us about these uh, apparatus. Yeah. When it comes these are clay pots. Clay pots, yeah. They're made here in Antigua, yeah. in Seaver Farm. Seaver Farm is a village in the middle of Antigua. Right. And these are clay. Right. So that's where you find the clay in Antigua, in Seaver Farm. Okay. So basically, they make a lot of different stuff. They make water pots. Yeah. They make these food pots, yeah. they made flowers pot, and they make coal pots right. to cook the food on. But these are what we use because they keep the food more natural. More natural. The, the, this is what we can say, ital, as ital. it's natural. I didn't get to try any of the ital dishes because I'm allergic to okra. However, I did get to try some tamarind juice, which had that sweet acidic flavor. And I got to try the pea balls. Now the pea balls is made of lentils, They're very well seasoned and it had quite a meaty texture. Stop number three, is it? Stop number three. So right now we are at BJ Bakery. This branch is called The Makery because one of the nieces of the owners could not pronounce bakery cor correctly. Yeah. And so they decided to run with The Makery because that's what she used to call it. Right. Now here at this stuff, you are going to be getting a pastry box. Mm. And inside of that pastry box, you're going to get an Antiguan style bread pudding along with a bun butter and cheese. And that's our Caribbean tasting. Yeah. You get our Caribbean cheese with that too, oh, along with a bunch of other goodies in that box. Yeah, I mean, I've, we've had, I've had bun and cheese before, the Jamaican version. Oh, ours is much better. Okay, so what <laughs> makes it much better then? Okay, so the Jamaican bun is a bit dense and heavy and wet, mm -hmm. and ours is a bit lighter and more delicious. <laughs> She said it, not me. Well, I'm coming first. I'm going to make it. All right, we're here. We are at the makery. We're with the owner and the maker of all these lovely local del delicacies in the heart of Antigua. Can you tell us more about this uh, this lovely place, this wonderful place? Well, hi, everyone. I'm Vilia Jackson. I'm one of the daughters of the founders of DJ's Bakery. And we're here at the makery by DJ's Bakery, which is like about four and a half years old. But the establishment is about 31 years old, started by my parents. And today, you're going to have a bun butter cheese, what we call a coconut tart, sugar cookie dough, almost, yes, with spiced coconut on the inside, and a bread pudding, local style. So he'll taste it, and then he'll, we'll see if his reaction stays the same. 
and so we're a family owned and operated mm -hmm. and so here at the Makery we do a lot of um, um, dessert so you have like a tiramisu different types of cheesecake cookies and cream butter rum cakes we have quiches and stuff in the morning and we do a wide range of paninis really unique we have like a Sunday morning breakfast panini that has in salt fish and spinach and egg and that kind of stuff plantain you know everything that's oh, my love Caribbean language. your love language oh, food marry me. You marry <laughs> cheese and I love bun and cheese in Jamaica it's quite of a thick dense sort of texture with the bread but here it is so light and it's toasted so beautifully and you really taste the cheesiness of the cheese you just sense it coming in and it's hitting at the back of your nose really hitting the back of your throat it's absolutely delicious more about this restaurant then when we speak about Alma. Right. So this is like a on eatery and it'll be basically in the middle of the island. So yeah. we're close to just about everybody. Yeah. Quite reachable. Yeah. And um as you notice there's a busy street on that side. Of course, of course. And when you look at the back it's a serene um neighborhood. Neighborhood, yeah. So yeah. Basically experiencing Antigua right. when you sit on our thing. That side right. the street's moving and on this side very tranquil. Very true, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we serve up local dishes every day, mm. but we're not limited to to the local dish. We right. do, um, you know, pork loin, that's steak, right. That's right. chicken, that's right. anything while we're being committed to making a local dish right. every day. I see, I see. So today's local dish happens to be our national dish, which is the fungi. The fungi. Can you so right now we're making the fungi. Yeah. This is going to go with your... The pepper pot, that's our national dish. Okay. So, pepper pot and right, so as I can see, I can see a mixture being formed here. Yeah, so this is corn meal, yeah. mostly. Yeah. And we, we put it in some water that okra has been cooked in. Right. With some okra. Right. And then you just flavor it how you want it, not too much to take away from the traditional fungi. Nice. But everybody have their own little thing that they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do our other little thing off camera. Come yes. on. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I can't give away too much. Too much, right. Otherwise, you know what? It's corn meal. It's something like what you might know as polenta. Polenta, yeah, 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 yeah. Why, why, why did you want to open up a restaurant? Well, I don't know. I, I think I always liked, well, everybody will say that they always like to cook. Of course. So I was in my regular nine to five mm. um, job at a commercial bank. Yeah. I wanted to make a change and do something different. And I know I wanted to create like a happy space. Yeah. You know, and so I decided that I was going to come and and have people come and enjoy. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. I enjoy preparing. That's right. Yes. And Alma is actually my grandmother's name. That's why. So what is pepper pot? Because I don't so think I've mentioned, I've got pepper it on camera. Pepper pot. Yeah. It's greens, yeah. vegetables. Right. Not all greens, but a lot sure. of greens, pumpkin, sure. anything yeah. vegetable. Sure. And we put it all, it, it's sort of soup, but it has much more texture. More texture, of course. Yes. Of course. Of and course. And then we um, blend everything up. Yeah. Chop it up. Yeah. And eat. Lovely. Well, and there's bits of meat in there. Out all of the, I left out the center, but you okay. have meat, pickles, smoked meat, chicken, you know. Lovely, lovely. I'm just about to try the pepper pot. Um, I'm a bit nervous, a bit nervous. Um, I got Haley here who said this. It's quite funny that you're looking up to the heavens <laughs> as, as you're about to talk into this dish, and I'm like, I kind of have to. Okra and me, we, we haven't gotten along since the age of, I think, six. So, we're lots of greenery. <laughs> It's not bad, but I think maybe I'm just too conscious of the fact that there might be opera in it. That's why I'm not enjoying it as much as I should be. However, in terms of the consistency, it is a little bit watery. However, there is a little bit of texture in there because obviously they've put in a lot of greens and blended it and grounded it down. There's a bit of, bits of meat. You can taste little chunks of meat in there. Um, it's not as peppery as I thought it would be. I don't know, it's not as peppery. I was hoping for more fire. Know what I mean, I want it to burn the throat. You know what I'm saying? Nothing going on in there in, in, in terms of the spice levels. But it's okay. Some people might like it, some people might not. It's an acquired taste. That's all I can say. But I'll, I'll, I'll keep.
keep going because I hate wasting food. I'll keep going. Um, so come closer. You see it. You see all the juicy bits of meat in there. Yum, yum. And a little bit of the greenery. I have been reassured and, and they have told me there's not much okra in this, but I don't know. Not bad. Not the best thing I've had today. So currently we are at the Sir Viv Richards Stadium. Right. Now this stadium is named off of our last living national hero, Vivian Richards. And he is actually famous for the work that he's done in cricket. Now given that Antigua is such a tiny island, he has made a big name for himself on the world scene, on the international level. And so he has been given the name of a national hero. Oh. We are about to conclude the end of this food tour. We have stopped off at Sir Vivian Richard Stadium, famous cricketer um, in Antigua, and um, he is the last of the what? Well, the last of the last of legends who was doing bits in these parts of Antigua. So they've named the stadium after him. Um, but it's big. It's a huge stadium. If you look around you, it's just the fact that these chairs are imprinted with the Antiguan flag behind me there is it's incredible man it's a lovely place and it's so open and so spacious so we're gonna tour around and see what it has to say come on restaurant week is a culinary event that takes place in various cities around the island of Antigua and Barbuda the aim of restaurant week is to promote local dining scene attract customers to try new restaurants and showcase the culinary talents of chefs what we have in it is um, yeah. cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, right. and um, coconut, sweet potatoes, right. and flour. Right. And a little bit of essence. Okay. To top it off. Okay. Yeah. And you just fold it in. And you just fold it, yeah? Yeah. But okay. You have to fold it into the right consistency. Okay. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it's not going to stay together. That's right. It'll just, It'll just fall apart and break yeah. apart, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take one now. This is just the dukana, right? And we're just gonna have it right now as we speak. And I'm excited. I've been looking all over the island for this. Yeah. Oh man, I've been I've been putting things on social media saying a thousand pounds for someone that can find me a good dukana. Mmm. Yo, I'm telling you, this is banging. And I'll tell you why. The consistency is quite thick and dense, but it's carrying a lot of sweetness yeah. running through. And where's that coming from, that sweetness? That sweetness is coming from the sweet potato, right. also a little bit of the brown sugar. Mm. And you got to try it with the salt fish. So normally you try it with the salt fish? Yeah. Okay, okay. So if you can see, this is it. It holds firm, and it holds firm for a reason. It's just so that you can take it with the sauce, and then you've got that mixed blend of consistency of sauciness with this. Oh man. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's the end of the food tour. It was epic. It was packed with food and my stomach is hurting. I am carrying a food baby right now, but what a day, what an adventure, what a lesson in Antiguan cuisine. And I'm at Sarafina's to try and get a taste of goat water and hopefully a few little bit more surprises to come. So yes, here we are. Conk water. Yeah. Goat water. Yeah. Tripe soup. Tripe soup, yeah. Beef tripe soup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and we do because these are weekend, these are weekend specials that yeah, yeah, yeah. mostly most persons within the Caribbean. Um, feature right right so it's one of those things that i kind i do too right and so we have uh and i also make well my specialty is rice pudding rice pudding yes. rice pudding yes, rice yes, pudding yes. uh rice well puddings right, Jeff right. goat water okay what is goat water soup with? bottom line is goat meat goat it's meat, goat yeah. meat yeah but we have all uh it's nicely seasoned Oof. It's nicely seasoned, yeah. right? Um, yeah. It's 
it's nicely seasoned. Yeah. Lots of meat in the in, in, in it. Yeah. And we've made we've seasoned up the water. Right. It's a gravy. Yeah. So the water is considered uh goat water. It's a delicacy. Yeah. Um depends on where you live in the Caribbean, it's done okay. differently. Okay, 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 okay. Um some people say Monster had goat water better than Antigua goat water. Wow. And yep, yep. Um and so it is done. It's done, I mean, bottom line, but most of them are done throughout the entire Caribbean. I see, I see. Uh, everyone's just got with everybody's got a different flavor, yeah, a different yeah, take yeah, on yeah, it, yeah. Uh, and how it's done. It smells amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that is so good. You can good taste stuff. the. the oh, sorry. You can taste the. the like almost the flavor. meat. Mm -hmm. The meat is really, really. You can rich, taste in the, rich in it. Rich in it. Rich in it. Absolutely. The richness of the, of the fruit. Oh. And the meat, the goat, the actual goat meat is so soft and so tender. It's delicious, man. Thank you so very much. Wow. Good balance of seasoning. <laughs> Absolutely. The of the meat, it literally breaks in your mouth. I'm not really making an effort to chew this at all. Like, literally, meat which has been cooked through this soup. You can taste it all. Honestly, it is absolutely nice. Look at that chunk of meat there. Oh. Thank you. Very Back in the day, mm -hmm. the slave master killed the animals. Right. He had the meat, he had all the left over. Right, so the slave masters killed all the animals. So, so we slave. decided now, alright, we're going to use, this is white pudding. White pudding. This is a concept, yes. Wow. Um, so, rice pudding. In England, it's called blood sausages. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. It's the blood sausage. Mm -hmm. But it's the blood sausage with a Caribbean flavor. Right. So it's a similar, it's similar to that. We mm. season up all the blood and different Caribbean countries put in right. different things in it. Right. So, and, um, and blood. And blood, It yeah. can be beef blood, it can beef be um, pork blood. What, what blood have you decided to This is beef blood. Oh I, my I, gosh. what I do. I feel like a vampire. <laughs> yeah, most of what it's I tasty. do, I do. It is so spicy. It's hot and this burst with flavors. In the heart of the Caribbean paradise of Antigua and Barbuda, a savory delight awaits you. Yep, at KFC. With its iconic red and white stripes beckoning, KFC stands as a symbol of flavorful indulgence in the tropical haven. And I've been told, this is the unofficial national dish of Antigua. What makes this KFC so special? What makes it so special? Just how they prepare the food, how they season the chicken mm -hmm. and the different types that they have here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's all about the season. Not, yeah, all about the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so mad. Let's, let's give it a go. Bro, this is good, you know. Tell you. It's so crispy and so crumbly in your mouth. The, sco the coating of the skin just one bite and it disappears, man. Look at him, look at him. He's munching yeah, away. <laughs> munching away, but I was told right from the word go, right from the minute I landed on this trip, I was told that if I really want to get a taste of Antigua, I have to go to KFC. And I was like, what? KFC? I said, bro, we get, we get that in London all the time. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, yeah, you have to go KFC. And here we are munching a piece of chicken. Oh, man. These wings are so good. So, so good. Chicken is very juicy, succulent. It's got a kick to it. A strong, strong, strong ass kick. And it just touches your tongue and you feel it pinch your tongue a little bit. The heat that you get from it, it's a bit of a madness still. Yeah man. Um and the chicken is very, very decent, man. Very decent. But the coating is what makes it so good. The crispiness of the coating is incredibly tasty. Oh, no. 
fat. The minute you bite into it, all the juices just flows out of it. It's insane. Absolutely insane. And all the flavour, the flavour is all coming from the coating. All that flavour is coming from the coating and it's absolutely delicious. Unreal. It's crumbly, it's crunchy, it's got a bite to it, it's packed with flavour, there's a bit of heat coming through and then the juices of the chicken just rolls down the back of your tongue. tongue. Mm. It's good. I am so full right now. <laughs> Look at my cheeks. Oh man. Yeah. You did a good job today man, you did a good yep, job. Yep. You brought me here and he's like, you've got to try the KFC. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't finish it, but it's coming back with me to the hotel. See chicken wings and uh, chicken thighs. I've got a date tonight, <laughs> Good job. but it is very tasty, spicy, as crunchy as crispy. Oh, so many adjectives I can use to describe it. It is absolutely delicious, man. Thank you very much. So we are currently on Prickly Pear Island, um, just a tiny little island. You notice how I said little? My man's in the Caribbean, so man's trying to put on my patois, you know what I mean? Get the lingo right. Little island. Um, we, we had to make our way from Hodges Bay. So Hodges Bay is a hotel, stunning hotel, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And you walk through there and the facilities there are immense, like proper luxury hotel. And then we had to jump on the boat. Um, it's about, I'll say, mm, five to ten minute boat ride, and then you get onto the shores of Prickly Pear. And it is stunning. Uh, you've got a bit of a bar area uh, with a bit of interior thing going on, pink interior. Um, you could sit there, chill, get some drinks, drink up, vibes. Um, so that's this, this is where we're at, Prickly Pear, guys. And um, have a look. This is where I'm going to end my antiguan vlog so yeah let's go have a look right now come on we're gonna see this guy dance we're gonna get him to dance today i'm well how you doing Good. you look lovely as always so do you i love you it two peas two peas again Soon, soon Are you come. Slacking again? No, 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 soon come, soon come, soon come. <laughs> I'm here with Molly from Dabble and Travel. Honestly, she's the part of the gang now, part of the gang. She's brought me in, she's brought me in. Love yeah. her. Yeah, we've been uh, best buds the whole time. Oh. I can drink more than him in actual fact. No, she's lying. She's lying. <laughs> don't, don't try it, don't try it. Go away now. <laughs> it's Matt from Dabble and Travel. Oh yeah, he's loving it. That's a strong rum punch. That's a strong rum punch. Every day rum punch. Every day in Antigua. I'm sweating rum punch. <laughs> day, rum punch. It's just oozing out your skin, that mate. Is it? Oozing out your skin. <laughs> Unfortunately, my time in Antigua and Barbuda has come to an end, and it's been an absolute fight. Massive, massive thank you to the Antiguan and Barbuda Board of Tourism. 